Hey, hey. Good morning. Good what, morning. What happened that game? Everything died? <laughs> yeah. I think um I wasn't too careful. I wasn't careful enough with my shape, uh -huh. especially on the right hand side. And then but everything died. When I opened the game it looked like uh I, I see some spectacular dragons dying, and I thought you're the other color. Then I realized you're black, so out. <laughs> All right, Let, let's forget that one. Oops. Let, <laughs> let's rematch and revenge. So you're holding on as a 3Q here. It's good. Three wins, three losses. Yep. Not too bad. As Djokovic said, not too bad, not too bad. After mm -hmm. the Australian mm -hmm. Open, that was fun. Have you seen the video, the the press conference? I, no, I haven't I, seen I that. I'll send you a quick link for the audience. Someone it's like, I don't know, 20, 20 seconds. It was quite funny. Uh, here we go. Till you find an opponent, I'll show you this. Yeah, I'm requesting Sorry, a free game. Play. Okay. Yeah. We have started. Great. Let me see. So you're playing white. Yep. <clears throat> Not too many options. You yeah. gotta go for the entry corner. Fine. He'll attack you right away, I guess. Yep. E3 maybe. Mm. Classic. What to do? Uh, I'm thinking knight's move response to this one. Mm -hmm. So D6. Yeah. That's common, yeah. Like, if I had something in the lower left, I might just do the diagonal. But... Mm, I, it's fine, either way. Even if you have a stone in the D16 corner, k is quite popular. Oh, sound not so great. I'm using Skype on my phone yes. right now. Okay, something's, something's like scraping or rattling or something. I'm not sure. Oh, weird. Um, I guess approaching the lower left now is fine. Yeah, you, you, can, Maybe too you can either play one of the Kakari, like C14 or F17, or invade Sansan, but you can also approach the top right corner, like Q6, or even inside the top. Oh, okay. So you can limit his uh, Moyo potential in the top side. Gotcha. Let me check. Something here. Okay. Hmm, he doesn't care. Wow, your opponent has many wins and losses. More losses than wins, but still, lots of games. So I think uh, I'm just gonna pincer at Q12. It's playable. Just don't let big dragons die. <laughs> what do you do if double approaches like N17 or N16? Well, he doesn't. So now you gotta protect this corner. Yep. Low or high? I would normally do high. It's okay to play low here because he's got this D16 in the low left corner. Okay. So you're not so bad that when he goes L70. But right now, gotcha. I think he'll put some pressure on the right side. P11 is the next move. Sometimes they play the. Oh, okay. That's possible too. I thought he'll play the slide, which is not so great. So, so should we P thirteen? No, you don't want to play that. Right. You, right. you better play. You better play on the right side, uh, R sixteen, or just leave it like that and double approach the top right corner. See how the fire will develop. Oh, okay. Entry. This is fine. He usually answers, otherwise you connect under. But maybe he'll play uh, Q15. 
oh, he pressed that one, that's a strange move in this case. But you can still leave it like that. You can continue later with a cut one way or the other, R11 or okay. R13. Because even if he plays another move here, he'll be over-concentrated to uh, remove the RG. And you already got a nice corner with R16. It's like 15 points in this corner, investing three moves. And now you have to do something to okay. save your, or to help your Q6. So a move like entry is nice here. See what happens there, and then you will use the RG of Q12 a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Wow, kick. That's a strange move. He should go out or attach the other way, P6. You don't have too, too many options here. Yeah, going up. Now what? Hmm. On A seems playable still. Yeah, P7. Good. And then, do I just take the 3-3 three, three after that, or...? Mm, depends what he plays. Not anymore. Just Atari. Yeah. That gives him a bad shape. And then where you connect. He's over-concentrated there. Yeah, I think I can connect um, Q7. Mm, no. He will cut if he connects. <laughs> you, you gotta give up that stone. O7. More okay. interesting, because anyway, you have Q6 there and you're blocked by Q5. So when you play Q7 and he cuts, you just have a heavy loop. And if okay. he takes one stone, it's no big deal. You can go Atari, discard that stone, and then use the idea of Q3. In the top, it would be nice to extend all the way to J3, if you have a chance. So you just sacrifice that guy. Q8. And you can play one. Oh, I thought he played right away. <clears throat> this way is nice for you. You can go Q8. Uh, sorry, R8 instead. Mm -hmm. And then you can use Q12. So, which way to cut? R13 or R11? Mm. <clears throat> I'm inclined to do R11 because the two stones on top are weaker. Yeah, but when you when, when you cut R13, he will play Q13, then you play R11, he covers P12, then you connect, he pushes again, and then you connect under. Otherwise, he might play Atari from uh, the other side with R10. And anyway, your two stones are not so so much in trouble. Okay. But like that, you can. Like, oh right, right, right. And he'll be on the run. With everything. Yeah, just take this now. And connect. And then connect again. So you don't let him Atari. <clears throat> and if he plays Atari on one stone, R14, you don't have to answer. Okay. Right now, he should play in the top. K3 or C14. Ah, this is a gotem move. So first of all, extend in the top J3 because then you can remove the base of the top group. So okay. it's not just a move to expand your uh, base, but you're also thinking to attack him. Next. And then you should attack his uh, D16. Ah, here you gotta go. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. That leaves a, a nice vital point invasion at G3. Ah, oh, he played that after all. So let's see how he reacts to G3. To take away his base. Gotcha. Okay. He'll probably cover. So then you hunt under I2. Now what? I could play like G2. Or just... H2. Just go. H2. Okay. Well, G2 works too, and then when he cuts, you play Atari. Yeah, that, that's a, an option too, but what happens when you play G2, he will block F2, and then you need another move. 
So it's proper to play H2. He would play H2 if you don't play anything. Gotcha. Yeah, so he needs some eye shape or a connection. And then you can just extend on the left side, uh, C9. Make a, some territory. OK. And that prevents his approach to C8. OK, so you're center. Let's look all over the board. We could do like F17 yeah. or even the attached. F F17, yeah. on stop on side. And if he pins as you go okay. Sansan, normally here he will just block D17. Ah, okay. If he plays this, you have two options. Either uh, D17 and cross cut or Sansan C17. As you like. You can try the attach and cross cut. That can be more confusing. Okay. Just because I'm curious. Usually this variation will end up center for you. But it depends. He should just extend D15. Maybe he will try some stuff with Atari E7. Oh, okay, that's Atari. Go out once. So now he will Atari again. Okay, extend again. Ah, good for you. Atari on there. <coughs> and capture the cornerstone. C, uh, B17. And that will probably be sent down. You got a nice corner. So where to play? Such a peaceful game. What happened? Nothing there. I feel like uh, K17 or J17 is pretty big. J is a bit too close to his stick shape. K is fine. Okay. If you play J17, okay. you will invade right away. Like this, yeah. you're pretty much connected. Mm -hmm. Peaceful game. I have a lot of potential on top, so maybe all the way to like J7 or something? Well, or is there something more active? With this move, he wants to invade uh, C7, so maybe it's proper to jump out E9. Because then you okay. also reduce the potential in the center, but you keep your gotcha. stay, your, your group safe. Whoa. Like that. Tuck, tuck, tuck. You can cut or you can just block. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, he can try that. So what to do? I guess ladder it? Mm. He will play Atari uh, on the left anyway. So how about you just extend D5? And then when he goes Atari, you go down, he connects you, connect under, he will push, you block, he will Atari, we squeeze him. And then you get a pretty strong shape. We can probably counter attack the top group. He likes this move. Anyway, Atari under. <clears throat> and then D, D10. He will cut. And if you Atari, Atari, you need to go down. So you better connect. And after he cuts again, he's squeezing. Now you play Atari from behind a couple of times. He said, he oh, this, hit, uh, this our center. So he didn't gain much. Just a dumping shape. And now you... And then connect. Ah, uh, you rushed a little bit. You could just, <laughs> you could just jump out. But it's okay, he answered. Oh, okay. It's fine. <clears throat> well, you can still jump out and try to, to attack the entire top left corner. But you need to play a move that affects his uh, middle left area too. Anyway, some jump like A8 or trying to surround the group so then we can attach uh, the B2. Okay. And also you can jump again into the center. H11 or something like that. Okay, and this builds, right, it builds the top side yeah. while attacking yeah. the upper left. And also you try to reduce his voice. 
And then when you jump several times in the center, you can look uh, towards the right side to attack his O14. For example, when you play a move like okay. M14 or something around that. Aha, uh -huh, so he wants to trick you here. Just take the stone. It um, gives you, I mean, cut at B3. It gives you some profit. If you try to go down and block and it connects, then you might lose the five stone. So, gotcha. You take some profit here, and he's still not completely alive. <clears throat> he needs to cut c3, then play Atari. Okay, that's the only move. Capture the stone. Let's see which Atari he plays. Hang on. Before you answer that, you should go e4. And if he captures one stone, you cut the group in the middle. So if or he will answer. No eyes yet. <laughs> yeah, ultra peaceful. Now take the stone in the corner. He doesn't really have eyes. Then you can go F2 instant. He might jump out maybe around I6. It would be nice to play another move there. Well, you don't always have to kill your opponents to win by a lot. Uh huh. Okay, take away the base with F2. Because when he doesn't answer that, you can push again. And if he blocks, he still doesn't really have two eyes. And now you can hit the vital point, which is H6, the eye stealing Kasuji. So in the corner, he has something like one eye. And right now you're destroying the second eye. Slowly but steadily yeah. killing something. Atari connect. It's a peaceful game just in appearance. <laughs> okay, so how we kill this? Luckily. To make go time. <clears throat> you gotta use the space from the outside. So okay. D four first. He has to block. D number four. Uh, sorry, D three. D three. Okay. The honey. I, I... Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm still recovering from skiing. I'm not. Just... And then we uh, uh, throw in. Yeah, throw it. E1, that's right. And when he takes, you play the the killing move. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. hmm. Is this working? Uh, oh, thanks for the 100 bits, JB. No, not really. So now you gotta find the net, but a good one. I'm looking at J7. J7, yeah. That's the move. Good. You kill the guy. He was too brave when he played L10. Mm -hmm. Now I just block. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> Pay attention here. So if you block, he's got some Ataris. Bum, bum, bum. But it works fine. You can play M4. Okay. The letters are not working there. <clears throat> So you just have to make sure he doesn't build another eye around G6. Which feels mission impossible for him. Uh, 
Ah, maybe he'll try. But this would just G8 or something. Yeah, I was looking looking at something in there. Or G7 and run out. But it doesn't really work. Uh huh. So now he's looking to play Atari, Atari, then what? So to make sure he doesn't do anything there, you can play another move like G9, for example. Oh, okay, that far away. Got it. Yeah, it's a good shape. Because the Tator inside becomes white as he's on there. Gotcha. So that removes the edge. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta pay attention to the letters. Uh huh. So, what is he really trying here? Oh, okay. He wants to play something like uh, F6, and then when you go down, he goes Atari, Atari, and he captures it. So you can just uh, bamboo H7. Gotcha. And his hand it still doesn't help him with uh, M5 Atari. He needs a move like K to make that work, but then you protect uh, M6. Okay. How many games have you played earlier today? Uh, three total. So I won my first one and then lost two. Mm -hmm. So this will even up the score. But this is a free game, right? This is a free game, yeah. All right, doesn't count. And on IGS, you're still 5 kill? Um, I'm one game... Like, I keep bouncing back and forth. So uh -huh. I'm one game away from 6Q plus right now. <laughs> or one game away from 5Q, excuse me. But I've ranked up to 5Q like a million billion times now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta break that breakthrough. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm reading some more books and I'm doing my Tsumego and... Not really, a lot of my games amount to I blunder, oh. I blunder a fight and then that loses the game. Well, you can blame that on the stream being distracted. <laughs> Are they still? Is that still... They're not going to run yeah. out. You think he'll wait 10 minutes and then run away? Maybe so. I mean, it's a free game. We could resign without any repercussions. Yeah. yeah. So. I'll give him yeah. until Let's he has wait. nine minutes. And One then... minute. Or so. Maybe he's still looking for ways to escape with the dragon. He's probably in shock. It was a very peaceful game, and all of a sudden, a quarter of the board collapsed. <laughs> yeah, chat does their best it's, to be, nah. be distracting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, this game uh, was a big deal. Oh, he you know, played a move. He found a way. So Atari, 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 then nothing works. You should capture that stone as 12 so you get some nice shape. Okay. So this group is good. <laughs> All right, so he's looking for Atari and such. Now you better play M6. Fix that RG2. Okay. It's nicer than capturing the two stones. Uh -huh. Because the two stones are dead anyway, so you don't want to play inside. It's not necessary. Right. Just block. 
No, he's playing endgame. He doesn't want to resign. He hopes to come back. <clears throat> Remember that squeeze play on the left side? He got a tip. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, take shot move. Just connect. Capture that stone in the top right corner. Maybe we kill the corner. After you capture the stone, you can uh, clamp and go up, play the Kosumi. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. Wait. He has very few liberties. You better not be in the corner, P2. His move is not center at all. <clears throat> Then you can go sun sun. Oh wait. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Kill Gote. Yeah, go sun sun. Kill three. The Gote Gote guy. <laughs> then if you consume R4. Okay, now I think you should capture one guy for safety reasons. I mean, G1. The thing is, okay. if he plays uh, D1 and you want to kill the group, oh, wait a second. Let's close the two. Huh? You have one, two, three, four. And if he connects, you can go down and carry. Yeah, so you can play R4 and kill the corner. Good. Another peaceful kill. I think he doesn't realize that you can just attack L3 and when he connects, he's still in Atari. It's a shortage mm -hmm. of liberties there. All right, take the stone. He's still short and can't create a call. Yeah, now it's even worse for him. Oh, wait. This is Kote too. <clears throat> ah, he's trying something. He, you need to take away a Liberty M3. Okay. Just. Capture. Atari, yeah. So, no call. Still <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we win. Okay. Good one. Next. I was wondering if he resigns eventually with so many dev groups. <laughs> to play but you, okay. you were winning, we're yeah back. you were winning without killing probably by like i don't know 20 30 points if nothing dies mm -hmm. so aha uh -huh. fancy moves <laughs> i've been trying out huh? dual five fours lately take, take <laughs> another one top left corner d5 play all the five fours all right, now put some pressure. I mean, N16 or F4. Those are the Josekis you're looking for when you play 5 4. N16? Oh, yeah, okay. the Kema. Or the other Kema, F4. Maybe you'll get to play both, we'll see. Oh, this way. He's the same guy. He wants to rematch. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a free game again, yeah. Morganal. Not just uh, oh, oh. 015. Yeah, he yeah. must be angry. You can double honey here. M17. Wow, why shouldn't I die? He should simply play M18. Now connect. Mm -hmm. And now he'll try to kill, go down. Then we teach him some letters. 
no matter which move he plays, L18 or N18, this is related to leather. So, what's the se sequence? Oh. Well, you need to expand your liberties first. So I can take N18. N18 attack, yeah. Yeah. Then you gotta cut him. L16. Okay. And then you have to play at the Suji, which is. Let's see if you find that. We're not. Are we loose laddering? No, wait. No, you gotta start from K18. And then you set up some ladders. Okay. But you don't wanna play a no B or a Italian no B. Because then he has time to go right. 18 and link under. And now you push K16. He has to extend again and then you start the ladder. Gotcha. <clears throat> I see. I was thinking about the clamp, but I couldn't figure out how it worked. That's how it works. Got All it. forced. So he resigned again. Wow, you have a five down watching. Now, capture. So it's good to have a 5 4 in the top left corner and just take the two stones. Okay. Now he has to leave in the corner somehow. But his J17 is still pretty weak. He'll probably go Q16 to survive. Or that one. So, from this move, he wants to go out Q14. You gotta block him somehow. Okay. Um, R14 is a. No, I, can I attach? You, you want to play Q16, Q16 and then R15. Because in that case, it doesn't gotcha. necessarily capture stone in center. If you just play, yeah, and now you block. If you just play the attach, R15, he will go up and then he can push and capture one stone. And now you can also play Atari, mm -hmm. S16. <clears throat> and this is all center. Ah, oh, take the call. He's angry. Wait. So he wants to link under. If you take a call, he takes that one. But you better separate N19, play where he wants to play. Ah, oh, he has a big problem actually. Now, as a code threat, uh, you can play something like H17. Try to surround this group. He'll probably go out. Anyway, take the call. R17. <clears throat> we can actually kill this group in a call if he connects. But we want to use H17 first. And now push H16, H15. You don't want that stone to die inside. Okay. Push again. And once again, he's simply running out of neutral points. And then surround very nice the lower left corner with a Kakaria D14. So the coin, this lower right, it's P19 and then cut Q18. But we need some cotress to buy that coin. So you better attack him for the D14. 
Okay. Another way would be to play um, O19, but then he will take the call and he will block U19. Nice move, but let's just surround F14. Powerful. Keep the, keep the pressure. <clears throat> Maybe we should play the same game in the top left corner. He'll fall into some trap again. Feathers are good for him. Uh huh. Yeah, do that. F4. So the idea is to become strong enough so you can uh, surround this I13 group somehow. Gotcha. Ah, huh, he played the same thing again. He didn't learn that the Suji double hunt again. Okay. Connect. We show him again. Uh huh. This time. No more Atarian letter. Just go out. But this is good for you. He shouldn't play Atari, Atari. He should simply and no begin. And again. Oh. Hmm. Separate. Like, yeah. Whoa, strange. Separate again. O2. Okay. What to do here? Mm, I think I can. Oh, maybe uh, N4 is strong. No, just no B. O5. Okay. Simply step ahead. Jeez, that was my first instinct too. And I was like, yeah, I second guess myself. <laughs> And now he needs something like Q6 or push again. And now you should attach in the top left corner C3. And hit the vital point, which is E2. He has a big problem here. Because <clears throat> then you cut and you capture the stone. Everything can die. The normal reaction is to play Han C2. But he might go E2. We'll see. Haha. <laughs> okay. And then Atari. D D4. So he'll probably connect and when you go down he has to make a painful life. And you got a lot of profit in the corner. And if he blocks, you take the coin and it's a double Atari and then you keep taking stones. Ouch. And take another one. And if he blocks, you just go down in the corner, B3. And then it's a call for life. Just descend. Oh, yeah, okay. Now he has to take the call, because he's not alive. So you got to fight this call. <clears throat> There's nothing you lose in this call fight. So let me check something. Dun, dun, dun. If you jump here, here, here. He cuts, you take the call. Nice, now you can start the call in the corner, so play P19, because then it will be a double call. He will either take the call or separate. Now you cut him Q18, then he has to capture the call. Uh, here you can connect. Oh, no, wait. You better don't. Take the other call. Sorry, F2. Mm -hmm. And when he captures S5, S15, you just feel the top left call, G3. So that group died, and he survived where he was already alive. But, well, it's a slightly bigger life. Honey in the corner. You need, oh wait, you don't even need that. My bad. He died in Gote. Yeah, don't, don't play anything. Let's attack uh, age 11, for example. Yeah, he's still dead in the top left corner. Because if he goes down, you play the throw in, and then when he takes the stone, you play inside. So with this move, you're looking for a giant left side, and you also want to kill the, mm -hmm. the bottom group. Uh huh. He, can, he, he wants one stone. In that case, just J12. Surround the middle. Let's see how he lives with the, the dragon. He 
This is a basic here. <clears throat> Jeez, that left side is getting ginormous too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's see here. Pa, pa, pa. Ah, you can block G18 and kill more. That's the greedy way, but it works. And then either connect solid or hanging connection, as you like. Well, on this move, he will probably play e17, and then you got a block. He blocks, and it's fine. Sente. Quite a slaughter, indeed. And then you have to put pressure in the top right, uh, p7. What to do if he doesn't block at e17? I mean, to continue in this corner. Not sure. Oh, okay. I can came just on. push. Yeah, yeah came Or on. push, yeah. E17. Mm -hmm. D18 and then Kosumi. Uh, C... C15. Yep. J18. No, if J18, we Hane, H19, and then it's still one way. <clears throat> so here, uh, you can push and cut, or you can cover. Yeah, you better play K12 and then some K1. He's actually looking to surround. Ah, that's sneaky. And now Nobi again, uh, L12. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to push and cut and try some fight with the bottom loop. He can throw in M16 and Atari. Uh -huh. So just uh, J15 to kill. Mm -hmm. Well, when he goes J19, you go H19. When he goes H19, you go. J19, so locally it's only one eye. Otherwise, we would play from the other side, I18. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And cut. And surround. G13. He's losing liberties this way. Uh, block. Now you gotta pay attention. A little bit. I can yeah. capture the one stone. Or... Yeah, tari, 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 tari. But you don't want to, to get your low right uh, groups around it. So you can go out first N12 and then start the ladder to go out, well, some sort of ladder. And save those four stones in the middle and keep him busy. Oh, Atari here, it's his right. Take. Honey under, take away second eye. Which honey under? So here you can start from I10, then several Ataris, K10, K11, K10, and push again. Drive him out a little bit. Drive him crazy. Well, you don't need a honey under. Only when he plays J19, you play Hanan. And here you want to keep uh, out. So O12. Okay. Make sure you have more liberties. Go out again. No B. Mm -hmm. And no B. Wait a second. Puff, puff, puff. Uh, now R14. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Nice. And okay, then cut. So like that you make eyes. He can double Atari on oh. cut. I mean Q13. Okay. He'll go Atari, but that gives you eye shape. Uh, 
Ah, you J19, right. Yeah, but when J18, you also have uh, H19. Oh, that way. Interesting. So I just connect, yeah. Mm, you can play O14. But oh, connect okay. also. With O14, it's clear eye shape. I guess I can... No way, I uh, can't capture that stone. If you that take way. that, he will take one. It's possible, but better, you better play all 14. Okay. And when he goes at that, you connect, and then you have clear eye shape in the middle, and if he connects under R12, it's just end game. Gotcha. Now he has to go out and try to kill those four stones. In fact, we should protect the K18 and J19. Hmm, this can be tricky. If he comes out at J11, you Atari, Atari, and push again, then he Hane, he got Atari, he was there. Yeah, let's see what happens. So you gotta fight. K11, K10, K9. <coughs> He'll probably double Atari or just Hane. If you Hane, you don't have to play any Atari, just Hane also. Push one more. Make straight lines. Okay. Well, if you double Atari, uh, he'll just take one stone. We don't care so much about it. In fact, his group will die fast in the middle. Push again. This looks like a listed all game. Wait. Uh, <laughs> can you came on now? Uh, or push one more. No, keep pushing. Okay. Titan sees liberties. Mm, okay. Just connect. Now you go out again. Empty triangle. And again. Many lines. Deadlines. Uh, push first, H7. Actually, either way. And then hunt. Is then that... turn. And then there are some cutting points. So you mean G8? G8 yeah. yeah. Then you cut him as you like. For example, uh, F7. And Atari. And take three stones. Super dead. Or take. We'll just take. It's easy. <clears throat> Good. Now we want to kill this group too. Let's start with the vital point. E10. Perfect. Because of liberty. <laughs> and now F11. Let me some sniper. He'll probably Atari Atari. Wait, you said S11? F, S as in Ford. Oh, Frank, right. <laughs> S11 is not related to the fight on the <laughs> like, <match>. what? <laughs> well, not, yeah. He might Atari and Atari, but he'll probably just connect. Anyway, either way, he's going to die a little bit. And now block D11. And wait. Ah, go down. C11. So let's attack the corner a little bit. Oh, wait. What he wants? Connect solid. Yo Yomi now starts. He's still not alive here. Uh huh. What to do? I'm just gonna hunt under. You, you could just here. descend, but it's fine. Because then it, oh, it okay. hurts his corner more. I but see. anyway, he's in trouble. Okay, Atari. Then connect to the left. Mm -hmm. 
poor how desperate this white place. <laughs> Atari under first. E18. Let this corner die in Gote. He's very good in dying Gote. Okay, take the call. He's active now. <clears throat> so you can play art and then try an invasion on the right side. Oh, Atari here. That's pretty big. Now let's find the culture. Pom pom pom. Hmm. Kill the left side. Play something like C8. C8. Nine. Okay. Yeah, because you either connect under or cut or. And even if he connects d8, you pull back and the group is dead. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, if you take the core, he connects under, you take again. Yeah, that's a problem. So just connect. And then we have a core. No, no, if you connect, you will link under. You gotta go down. G19, then he captures the stone and he connects. Six. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, I think he's the, the same opponent and connect. He's alive, but he died on the left side. And the corner was supposed to leave anyway. Mm. Go out. Don't lose those guys. <clears throat> well, if he goes out, he still has a chance to die in the corner. But uh, I guess he'll play the squeeze. Or resign. Nine, eight. What else to kill? Six, five. B sixteen or B fifteen? <laughs> ah, okay. Just take. Just yeah. take. Now, when Atari, mm, wait. If he descend, he plays there. Yeah, descend. B B eleven. Let him capture the code. Then you connect with the Kosumi. Now play Kosumi B, or just connect solid actually, B15. Because anyway, you capture those two stones faster. And he's losing the semi if he plays F12. Now here you can capture those guys. But hang on, cut, pop, 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 cut, tari. Yeah, okay, let's cut him. Let's teach him another combination. He'll probably play Atari and then Hane, and then we go Atari, throw in Atari again, and let them. Instead of taking the three stones, you take the, uh, the bigger group in the middle. Okay. B18. Nine, eight, doesn't seven, do much. Six, five, four, well, we can three, try, but two, one, feels like a vital point. Two, Yo -Yomi's left. I can leave though. This is one of those games where you win by 200 points. Yeah, it's quite high. It looks yeah, like. the score is made, doesn't even know. Nine, <laughs> eight, the bottom is seven, dead, something will die on the right zone. So. Five, four, three, two, one. Last ah, you lose on time. Too bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Why well, there's only Komi left? Oh, look what he tries. So, you can play Atari, then Wedge. I mean, go F10. Let's teach him a snapback. F10 Atari and then D7. Oh, F10, okay. Yeah, because he is forced to connect. Then when you Wedge, 
D7 and he goes Atari to teach him snapback. We show him all kind of basic capture procedures. So the wedge now? Yeah. Well, Daniel will play stronger players when he's a 2Q, 1Q, 1 down, and so on. <laughs> so, be patient. <clears throat> I'm trying to get there, Morgan. All. <laughs> That's the plan, yeah. I'll probably have some time tomorrow to stream and uh, beat or lose against some 7 downs. I need that because next week I'm going to play a tournament. And I noticed there are several European professionals who's who are going to attend this event. Nicely done. Okay. <laughs> That's game. All right. So win your next games. <laughs> okay. Next thank week you. I'll be away. On Wednesday, I start the trip to oh. the tournament. So we'll see you again in okay. two weeks' time. And hope good luck on your tournament. I'll play tomorrow. Thank you. And good luck with the next games. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for the lesson. All right. Cheers. Bye bye. All right, like I like to remind everyone out there, um, be sure to support Cornell on his channel. It's twitch.tv slash Cornelco. Um, if you would like lessons from Cornell, uh, contact him through IGS or KGS or Twitch. Um, I think he has a website, but his lessons are fairly affordable and um, they're really, really valuable. I have learned so much. I don't learn as fast as I'd like to, um, it's a skill that I have to practice, and since I'm a little bit of an older student, it takes a it takes me a little bit longer to synthesize things, but I am consistently getting stronger as I learn from Cornell and practice and study, and he recommends things for me to study, and that's really helpful as well. If you enjoy this content, uh, this content is currently 100% uh, viewer-supported currently. A big thank you to Nightmare2727 as well as Peyton Bigsby for uh, sponsoring this current series um, of lessons, this current group of 10. I really couldn't have done it without you guys. So if you want to support this content, feel free to donate below. Uh, your bits, your cheers, your subs, all of that stuff helps for me to put this content on. So thank you so much. And if you can't, that's okay. I'm just happy that you guys are hanging out with me, learning together.